Hi, my name is Kelsey. I work in early childhood education at the St. Louis Zoo, and I'm excited to welcome you to my home today. Today, I'd like to go out to my backyard and go exploring. A couple weeks ago, I went looking under some logs at the park, and I found some really exciting things. Here's a few of the things I found at the park. So when I flipped over my first log at the park right away, I found big roly-polies and bright red centipedes. I could see their wiggling yellow legs, their antenna, they were moving so fast. I found a tiny little centipede and some very big roly-polies. Look at those guys. Have you ever seen them before? I gave the centipedes some space because they can sting, so I didn't want to pick them up. Under one of the logs, I found this little guy. This is a woolly bear. It's a kind of caterpillar. These guys are really special because they overwinter, which means the caterpillars stay alive all winter, and then in the spring, he'll make his cocoon and become a tiger moth. I was excited to see him move around a little bit. You can kind of see his face down there. He's so fuzzy. Why do you think this caterpillar would want to be so fuzzy? Now, I found some pretty cool stuff at the park. I think in my backyard, I'm probably gonna find just like some worms and some roly polies, but I'd like to show you what's really cool about those guys too. And maybe we'll be surprised and find some really cool things here too. Welcome to my backyard. Now, I have a pretty small backyard and I don't really have logs the way they do at the park. Um, but we do have some small logs that kind of mark our parking spots. And I bet I can find some bugs under there. All right, I brought my tools with me. So I have a couple of jars for collecting and observing bugs. And then I brought a shovel so I can dig a little bit into the dirt and see who I can find. So you should know if you would like to flip over some logs at your house, it's important to always roll those logs towards you. That way, if there's any critters underneath, they're going to come out and run away from you instead of running towards your feet. Then it's safe for you to take a look around. So these are my logs that we're going to take a look under today. See if we can find maybe some worms or some roly polies. What do you think we might find? Under this first log, right away, I found a couple of roly-polies. These guys are called pill bugs. We call them roly-polies because they like to roll up in a ball. Let's take a closer look. Why do you think they roll up in a ball? So when you look at them up close, you can see those kind of stripes along their back. Pill bugs have an exoskeleton that helps protect their insides, that kind of hard shell on the outside. Their exoskeleton has different plates, and that means they can roll up and they can open up and their exoskeleton can move to allow them to do that. Do you ever see roly-polies in your backyard? Under this log, I found some roly polies that were actually open and walking around so you can see how they move. Let's take a look under this little log here. And I found tons of worms. Big worms, small worms, pink worms, white worms, and I even found a little centipede. Here's another little worm. I'm gonna pick him up so that you can see him up a little closer. What do you notice about the way this worm moves? Let's put him back in the dirt so he doesn't fall down. So I wasn't too surprised when I found centipedes at the park, but I was surprised to find them in my backyard. I've never seen them here before. Check out how their legs move as they walk. 
On top of one of the logs, I found this insect. I know it's an insect because I see that it has six legs and two antenna, and I can even see its three body parts, head, thorax, and abdomen. This little guy is a box elder bug, and they eat by sucking the sap out of plants. This is another bug I was really surprised to find in my backyard. This is a kind of ground beetle. You can see that its exoskeleton is shiny. That's that outer part that keeps their body safe. Our bones are inside our body, but theirs are outside. These beetles also have a really interesting life cycle. They lay eggs, those eggs become larvae, which becomes a pupa and then an adult. Let's take a look. So not too far away from them, I actually found this larva. So this is a baby beetle. It'll grow up to look just like those black beetles. Do you think it looks the same or different? Now I was just about to go inside when I spotted this little guy. I almost missed him. And this is one of my favorite backyard bugs. It's all squished up right now. Can you tell what it is? What do you think? So that critter is a slug. I picked it up to let it move around a little bit. You might notice that the slug is really shiny because it's really slimy. Slugs have slime to help them hold on. If you watch one, it can climb right up the bottom side of a leaf. Ooh, there's some slime. <laughs> it can hold on to walls and leaves and plants without falling off because its slime helps it stick. But that also means that everywhere it goes, it leaves a slime trail behind it. One of my favorite things about slugs are those two things on its head. They look like antenna, but they're not. They're actually eye stalks. And when you look up close, you can even see their eyes on the ends of those eye stalks. Sometimes if it bumps those eye stalks into something, it might pull them back in to keep their eyes safe. Now watch as this slug moves along my hand when I first picked it up, do you remember how short it was? Now it's stretching out really long. You can really see how long it is. And you might notice on the side here, it looks like there's a little hole. That hole is called a breathing pore. That's the way slugs and snails on land breathe. What else do you notice about the slug? Another interesting thing I found was this leaf. It doesn't look like the other leaves. What do you think happened to it? So I decided before I went inside that I wanted to draw some of my observations in my journal. So I brought one of the roly polies over in my bug jar to draw in my journal. I really just looked at it and drew exactly what I saw. There's no special way to do it because everybody sees things differently and my drawing would look different than yours and different than anybody else's. So when I looked at the roly poly, I saw the stripes along its back. I saw an eye. I saw two antenna and I saw a bunch of legs. So those are the things that I drew on my drawing. I also saw a lot of roly polies that were curled up in a ball, so I wanted to draw that too. When they were curled up, they were the shape of a circle. And I could still see the stripes on its back, but I could not see the face or the antenna or the legs anymore, so I didn't draw those. Because I was making a scientific drawing, I labeled it so I would know what I was drawing, and I added the date so I would know when I made these observations. And that's something that a grown-up can help you do, too. 
Next, I wanted to make sure that I wrote down my observations, the things that I saw while I was watching and observing the pill bugs. This is a really important part of being a scientist because it's how scientists remember the things they've learned and how they share those things with others. If you were going to write or draw in a journal about one of the bugs that we saw today, what would you draw and what would you write? So I finished my drawing, I'll share it with you. I wrote that they have lots of legs, they roll up in a ball and they move fast. The last thing you want to do before you go inside, you want to make sure that any animals that you collected to observe, you return safely and gently to their homes. Thank you so much for exploring in my backyard with me. I am so surprised at all of the things we found. I did not expect to find beetles and centipedes and larvae and slugs. That was really amazing. I wonder if there are some amazing things in your yard too, or around your neighborhood. If you take a walk around the neighborhood with your family, you see some rocks or some logs that you'd like to lift up, I wonder if there'd be really cool things under there too. So I, you guys saw, I drew a little bit in my journal about the pill bugs that we saw, and I wrote some things that I noticed about them, some observations that I made. But I think before I'm done today, I'm gonna take a look at my next page and I'm just gonna write down some of the other things I found and maybe draw about them if I'd like to. But that way I can look back and remember all the amazing things I found in my backyard. I wanna know what you guys are finding in your backyards. Was there anything that was really surprising to you or maybe even confusing? Is there anything that you had to look up to find out what it was? I knew that that black bug was a beetle, but I had to look it up to find out what kind. I really hope that this inspired you to take a look around your yard or around your neighborhood and see if you can find some wild things too. Thanks for exploring with me. Bye!